What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we have something awesome. We have something very excited in this box. That's a lie, it's not in this box. It's already installed in the truck. Today we're gonna show you the install video and the initial impressions of the BD Power TS booster. That is the throttle sensitivity booster. This is their version three here. This one is for Dodge, Ford, and Jeep. And I imagine they'll be releasing these for all other makes as well. This actually should come out next week on the website, guys. There'll be a link in the description when it's available. And full disclosure, BD Power did send this out to me for free. So just a heads up, always try to keep it honest here on the channel. So they sent this out for review. Again, this is coming out next week. So that is enough of me talking. Let's get to the video. Let's get to getting this thing installed. I will say we're not gonna completely have it mocked up how I want it yet today. That'll come in the follow-up video about long-term use of it. So right there, I think that's coming up. There is the connector you're gonna take off. It is filthy under here, by the way, guys. Anyway, we're gonna take this connector off. We're gonna plug our new one in line. So we're gonna unplug that connector I just showed you. We're gonna plug the TS booster in line there. We're gonna set it kind of to the side so it's out of the way and not a hazard to get caught under something. And again, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna mount it because I want it hidden. I kind of want it out of the way. I don't want people to realize it's there. Okay, so I gotta show this one more time. I forgot this red piece pushes down and then it clips over the black piece. So to get it up, you gotta press up with the screwdriver on the red piece to get it to unhook. And then you can pull the red piece out and then you gotta pull up on the black piece. Then you can actually pull them apart. So we got these apart again. We got them apart underneath. Like I said, we're gonna just get this loosely installed and then we'll get back to the video. So as far as steps go, we have, have it connected, stuff's out of the way. We're gonna turn the ignition on, engine off, and slowly sweep the pedal. And we're expecting these lights to flash. Okay guys, so obviously this is not mounted, but this is what it looks like turned on. So that's the eco mode. Now if you hold down the negative button, now we have valet mode. So we still have throttle input, but it's 50%. Now if you hold both the positive and negative for a little bit, That's security mode. That's slow beep security mode. So I'm pressing the throttle. I don't know if you can see my foot down there a little bit. Nothing. To get out of it, you hold them both down again. And it goes blank. Now we have throttle response again. Now this is off. So this is no longer on. And we got eco. I forget it, street or sport, sport or street, race. And then to go to ludicrous, we hold it in. And wait for it, there it is. Now we have lots of throttle response. So, we're gonna come down. Valet mode, not fun. Eco, not fun. Let's go with, I forget, I think this is sport. So now what does a throttle sensitivity booster do guys? So it doesn't add timing to these trucks. All it does is it literally increases the sensitivity of your throttle. And I know that doesn't sound like it's gonna do much, but you'd be shocked at how much these newer trucks are really pulled back, especially in their first couple of gears with throttle response times. One thing I'm super used to my tuned six liter that didn't have some of that stuff in it. It's really just kind of, it just, you hit the gas pedal, it goes. Or at least it certainly doesn't feel like anything's pulled back. Wow, you can tell a difference just from, that's a big difference and we're just, we're just uh, relatively did nothing. But I gotta say that, that lag that's frustrating that I'm used to dealing with is, it's gone, it's not there. And that's been a really big frustration is it feels like it's just too, it's too pulled back but I feel like I have like a normal throttle response of what I'm used to in my six liter. Sure, it doesn't have necessarily that grunt the six liter has because my six liter's got so much to it done, but I mean, wow, that is a, 
that is a huge difference. Like it, I can't believe that. I got to tell you, initially I was not, I've seen people talk about these and love them and I wasn't sold on them because it seems a little silly, but I got to tell you, I'm, I'm sold. I definitely wanted to get one of these for a review because I know I was skeptical, but people have been raving about them and I had to try one for myself and huge shout out to the guys at BD Diesel for sending this to us. So, all right, that was just a little trip down the road. We need to, well, we need to go up one. So now we have a 75% increase and yeah, definitely a nice difference. The 75 is pretty nice. I wanted to turn there, but oh well, we're gonna go for a little cruise. I have no idea where I'm going because I've never ventured down this way, but I'll eventually find a road I know. Okay, so 75% is really nice too. 50% is definitely nice. And I'm, I'm definitely enjoying messing with some of these. Okay, so, so far we've tried 50, 75, now let's go to 100%. So now we're in race mode. And that definitely has, <laughs> wow. So race mode's a big difference. And I've said it numerous times with this truck, guys, I'm not looking to build a race truck. I just want something fun to drive. And this is definitely giving you that fun to drive feeling of a tune truck without it actually being a tuned truck. <laughs> so very simple to kind of, you, I don't know if you guys can hear it if it's coming up, but on the race mode, we're definitely chirping the tires just a little bit. I'm, I'm not even in it. So it's really, really cool to goof around with actually and see some of the response that this has given. I'm completely blown away personally that how well this works. This is not something that you're gonna, eh, I feel a little bit. This is a big difference in these trucks. Like, this is awesome. I better be careful, this is a, it's kind of hard to be careful though. Like the, the race mode is the real deal. And I didn't wanna do it, but I gotta try, I gotta try the, the rocket or whatever the heck it's called. It's got a picture of a rocket, I need to try it. But this is super cool. I mean, this is awesome. I can't believe how much this product, how much of a difference this actually makes. Having driven, having tested a lot of tunes on six liters, and I even have my dad's seven three tuned. This is a big difference. This for for ninety five percent of your driving guys, this is all the more you'd ever want from your truck. Now there are guys out there, myself included, that do like a little more power. But I can tell you, this is this is pretty awesome, and this will make a lot of people happy. We got to turn around, and we got to try something else now. We got to try the little rocket mode. But I need to get to a street that's a little better to pull out in. All right, here we go. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> Man, you do not have to be in it hard, and it it literally is insane. <laughs> I mean, I'm feathering the pedal, and it's just taking off. <laughs> that is, that's so cool. I don't know. <laughs> I've got, sorry, guys, because I just didn't expect it to do this. I really didn't. I didn't think it would be. But this this product has made this truck so much fun to drive in comparison to what I'm used to from it. It, I gotta tell you, if you told me this truck was tuned, I, I would think it was because of how it responds. It's, <laughs> man, that is awesome. We're not gonna miss the turn this time. Yeah, I mean, you're in it just a little bit and it, it gives it everything. That is cool. Like, I haven't even gone full throttle in. It's, man, it is an impressive thing to have because you don't have all that. 
you know, normally it feels like you had like everything's reduced. It feels kind of slow mo. The computer's stopping you from driving it the way you want to. But this is this is impressive. I will. So the three hundred percent increase is cool. I don't foresee me really driving it that way often. because it it's a little much but in a good way too like maybe if i was racing or something like that i would do it but i don't plan to really race with this truck so let's go down let's try the let's try the eco mode the eco mode's a little painful uh because it's definitely got not a whole lot of oomph to it But it, uh, at the same time for certain people, like, I feel like if I was to give this to someone else to drive, like this would be nice if you didn't, if they were a little intimidated by it, they wouldn't feel so afraid to drive it. So that's kind of cool. Now there's a mode even lower than this called valet mode. And I don't plan to mess with that at all that's a lie if i had a valet i'd use it but i don't so i'm not gonna mess with it at all but definitely we're gonna goof around i do want to play with this eco mode and see if it doesn't actually give you better better fuel economy first off for daily driving so i'll probably start that next week i'm gonna have a little bit of fun with it on sport or street mode between now and then. Now we're gonna go over the different modes of this. That is, we have a valet and security mode. So valet mode is 50% reduction in throttle. The security mode actually completely disables it. Eco gives you a 25% reduction in maximum power by 25%. And we're gonna see if that actually works, guys. That'll be in the follow-up video to see if we actually get better fuel mileage with it. There's a street mode, which gives you 50% boost in throttle, a 75% boost, which they call sport. Race is 100% boost. And then there's ludicrous, that's 300% increase. That's actually really fun to mess around with, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, big shout out to BD Power for sending this out to us for a review. Super excited about it. Should be out soon. This video is being shot on like the 17th. I don't know the date guys, sorry, but it should be out next week. So keep your eyes open for that. If you need one now, links down in the description to get yours now. Uh, they will be the older version of it, but this one is coming soon. Now also the guys over at BD sent us out something else for our 6.7. Now that install video, that's a little more involved to get to, but it's brand new for the 2015s. It's something they've had for the 11 through 14s. Guys, I wanna see those comments down below. What do you think? The guys over at BD sent us for this truck. Here's a little bit of a hint. I have it on my 6.0. Just this one's for the 6.7. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this upload, guys, smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you in the next upload.